Welcome to the Planet Microcap Showcase Virtual 2022. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and thank you for joining us. Now presenting at our event is Dave Schwarren. He's the founder and CEO of Quote Media. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is QMCI on the OTCQB. Dave, take it away. Thanks, Bobby. Nice to thank. Nice to be here. Um, yeah, I'll just give you a little rundown about Quote Media, tell people about what our company is doing. Just want to start with uh, forward-looking statements. This presentation does contain forward-looking statements, so I have to put this slide up here. So just to give a quick rundown about Quote Media, Quote Media is a stock market and information uh, provider. We bring in research and uh, exchange data, filings, fundamentals, news, uh, options, futures, commodities, on and on and on, as much information as you can imagine. <clears throat> and we bring it in from hundreds of providers, including the exchanges, as well as uh, different research firms, et cetera. And then we normalize that data, aggregate that data, normalize it, and then take it to companies that are needing it. So um, we provide it in either raw formats or streaming feeds or with visualization and web products, applications like our professional terminals. And we also do full stack development, which is where we provide you know, the entire solution of what a company is looking for, including all of this data. Our target market is uh, exchanges, brokerage firms, clearing firms, banks, media publishers, information portals, public companies, financial service companies, education, and individual investors. So essentially anybody that's needing this market data and financial data research information, we provide it to them. Some of our clients will include, you know, the NASDAQ, Toronto Stock Exchange, FIS, Broadridge, Bank of Montreal, JP Morgan Chase, Scotiabank. As you can see, we cover a lot of the industry, a lot of different firms. Um, they, it's very expensive for those firms to go direct to all the different sources that we go to, to, to pool this data together. So they come to a company like Quote Media uh, in order to get that a uh, lot easier for them. And one of the reasons why they come to us is because we are a single source of all of this information. We bring in all this data, we can, uh, we can cover either their web systems, we can cover their research behind the scenes, we can cover their, uh, their professional traders, their brokers. We have all the systems and all the products in order to do everything that they're needing. So they don't have to go to lots and lots of firms for all of these pieces. Quote Media can do it all. And so we are a single source provider of all of this stuff. So to give an overview, <clears throat> we are a SaaS provider. So we provide everything on a license basis, an annual multi-year license. Um, it is a fully recurring revenue model, which is excellent for the company. We have a super high client retention rate, over 90%. So we have very, very good uh, retention renewals from our clients. Our clients do like us, <laughs> of course. They like what we're doing and they typically stay with us. And we have a very strong growth rate. We're approaching 20% growth rate, which is excellent. We're super proud of what we're achieving. We have annual revenue now approaching 20 million. <clears throat> and I'll show you some of that revenue in future slides here. We have our average revenue per client is increasing each year. And that's telling us that we have larger and larger firms coming to us every, every quarter. And we have um, more and more spend coming from each client. We have a very strong brand. Uh, we've got proven clientele, as you could see from the from the previous slide, with with who's dealing with us and who's working with us, who who are our partners, and so that's very good for uh, you know progressing in the industry. There's a lot of trust now and and strength with our brand, and we're invited to the table a lot. So you know, in the early days when we were a lot smaller, it was harder to get to the table. <laughs> And now we're being invited to the table to, to do proposals, to come up with packages and pricing and, uh, and meet with some of the biggest firms in, in the industry. We have a strong team. We're over 120 employees, plus probably another 30 or so contract 
So we are a very strong team of many different divisions working with, uh, with our clients. And we have strong product success where lots of our products are being used. All of our products are being used across all of our, our, our clients. But that also means new product traction is very good. So when we come up with a new product, like a new technical chart or new options analytics or something like that, we already have the clients, we have good uptake, and we have really good new product traction as well. We are, of course, debt free and we are profitable. So why do companies come to Quote Media? Essentially, number one is customer focus. So we compete a lot against a lot of multi-billion dollar companies. Um, well, a handful of them anyways. And customer focus is really what we hear is the biggest thing about Quote Media is we care, we treat the customers well, we listen, we're there for them. And when, when a customer comes to us, they want something and they can't get they're not getting the service that they want. And it seems strange when you're a market data company, like is service important? It's incredibly important. They want certain product. They want it a certain way. They want data a certain way. They want it delivered a certain way. And so we're very focused on the customer. New technologies is another uh, reason is because we are state of the art. Everything that we're doing is new technology. Some of the older firms and, and bigger antiquated firms have antiquated technologies and we are all state of the art. And we are agile and flexible. So if somebody wants something, if they need it changed, if they need a special way to get data or merging data in with their data or something like that, we're very agile and flexible. And that usually doesn't come with a lot of other firms. We're responsive. You can pick up the phone and talk to us right away. You can get something done fairly quickly. And, uh, and that's one of the things that uh, companies have said to us is they really, really appreciate how responsive and how we act. We have very, very broad coverage. So, you know, when you're taking a look at all of the options and futures and commodities and Forex and quotes and filings and insiders, et cetera, et cetera, it's the, the amount of coverage of data that we have, as well as international is uh, is very very strong and that's important for these companies because they they don't want to go to many providers they want to go with one and there we go we are the single source so they can come to us and they can get all of this data all of this research and deliver it in different ways uh, which manages it well for them <clears throat> data quality of course you have to have a super good data quality and, uh, you know, that's with some smaller firms out there struggling away, they just don't have the quality and they can't power, uh, you know, a brokerage firm or a bank or an exchange. So, uh, you know, we really focus on good data quality, of course. And cost savings, that's another big one. Um, we can work within, you know, companies' budgets. We, we, uh, we have a very good margin on our products. So, it's not like we have to balloon fees for them. Um, and so people do come to us and they do notice some pretty good cost savings. And of course, finally, full stack development. So companies come to us and they want, you know, everything done. They want um, us to design. They want us to develop. They want us to host. They want everything done for them. And of course, we can do all of that. So if you take a look at our product product lines, you know, kind of put them in four buckets, maybe, you know, I, I do and personally anyways, you know, data provisioning is one that's, we bring in all this data, we normalize it, we database it, we're streaming it. So then we can provide it back to clients. So as clients need data, if they want certain data sets, we have lots of different delivery mechanisms for the raw data. And then we have our applications, which is our QuoteStream desktop application, our professional applications, our web application, our web trader, which is for retail, for trading, which is our HTML5 quote stream product. We've got our mobile application. So we can we provide the products that are for those users that need access to all this data. And we have our web content solutions or our content solutions, which is all of those things that you see all over the internet, the, the portfolios, the watch list, the charting, the technical charting, all the different news and media and everything that you see is all provided by us. And we provide those as widgets or as custom uh, development solutions. And then finally, we've got our end-to-end -end development services. And that's where we can do 
full trade integration with a third party. We can you know, you have user management services. We are vendor of record where we can handle all the data and the reporting to the exchanges. Um, and of course, we can build full products for, for companies. So, you know, our, our key thing is streaming market data feeds, powering that, you know, splitting that data out to whoever's needing it. Then we get to our on-demand API data services. So that's where people can pull data in XML, JSON, or CSV, so they can get that information and use it in their, either their site or their applications or their back office systems or anything like that. So it's, it's on-demand API data. We've got our global coverage, so we cover all the all the exchanges around the world, and we've got historical data, et cetera, et cetera. And then we have our own news and filings coverage where we bring in, uh, we are the direct source for all of these news feeds and the SEC filings and the CDAR filings for Canada, and we bring all of that data in ourselves directly. We normalize it, we aggregate it and then we syndicate it and we provide it back to companies that are looking for news coverage. We have our CodeStream product suite that I was mentioning earlier, and this is our CodeStream professional product, which is for brokers or uh, financial uh, planners. Uh, we've got our CodeStream web application, which is our HTML5. We've got our CodeStream trader, which integrates into third-party trading into a bank or a brokerage firm so that they can get all of their level two data, their analytics, their charting, as well as trading. And we have our CodeStream mobile application, which is a co-companion to all of this so that you can have access to all of your data and everything uh, right through to your mobile devices. And then we've got our web content solutions library, which we call QMOD, and that for, stands for quote modules. And that's our widget library where we build uh, hundreds of widgets, uh, customized widgets, everything embeddable into websites to make it very, very easy for a bank or a brokerage firm or a web portal to host all of this information and provide it to their end users. There's an example of you know, widgets and our widget library. We have technical charting, uh, advanced charting at the highest level, all integrated into trading. We have our proprietary analytics. We do a lot of metrics and scoring because we bring in all of the data. We do all kinds of data on data, as I like to call it. So we're always trying to get uh, more information for the trader. And we also publish all of this into uh, pretty advanced research reports. <clears throat> We also bring in all the, the uh, mutual funds and ETFs data direct from all the sources, from all the, uh, the fund houses, and from the regulatory filings, and we provide that out as, as a service to clients. And we have our user and data management services, so that's, like I said, vendor of record for handling the exchange data and the reporting to the exchanges. We do user registration, tracking, reporting. Uh, full integration into back office systems. We have payment processing if companies need it, customer support. We do all of every, anything related to providing that data or that level two data, streaming data, anything that a company is needing to provide to their user. And we can, we can handle a lot of that workload. And we offer database and API services. So for portfolio analysis or artificial intelligence, uh, integration to custom data sets, and of course, all kinds of analytics, insights, metrics, scoring, scanning, all of that with the data. So just to look at the company, you know, here's our rev uh, annual revenue growth. And as you can see that we are really ramping, um, you can see our growth curve is looking super good. We're very excited with what's happening. We've had our biggest year ever, and we're we're on track to have even a bigger year next year and, and beyond. The amount of bigger companies that are coming to us for, for this service that we're providing is phenomenal. As you can see over time, our net income is also growing nicely. 
And, um, you know, the, the more and more that we grow, the more cash that we're going to have on hand. And we, because we have a fairly high fixed rate of costs, um, you know, a lot of the revenue goes to the bottom line and allows us to have a cash growth. So you can see our ending cash balances are, you know, climbing, and that's going to put us into, into a, you know, very good position for growth in the future, maybe some acquisitions, uh, certainly uh, bigger uh, growth in data sets and, and global data sets. <clears throat> and as you can see, the strong revenue growth drives growth in our EBITDA. So um, our, our EBITDA is very strong. And as you can see, as time progresses, as we bring in more and more revenue, um, very nice numbers. And, and we're very proud of what we're achieving. So we are well positioned for growth and profitability for the future. You know, we have a strong brand. We're recognized in the industry. We're winning against multi-billion dollar competitors. We are replacing their services. We are getting their, uh, the firms coming to us and asking Quilt Media to replace what they're doing with, you know, sometimes up to three or four or five other providers that we are displacing. We have established client success. And as you saw from the brands and the names and the companies that are dealing with us and working with us, um, it's proving that we are strong in the industry and we're getting lots more companies coming to us for the same services. And they see our name out there. They see our press releases. They see what we're doing. And, uh, and we're now at the table. There's uh, really good product traction, as I was saying, and, and because of all the big clients and the new clients, we've got uh, very good new product uptake. So our clients direct us as far as where we're going as we're growing, because we can, we're can constantly meeting with them and talking with them and finding out what they're needing. And so it, uh, it dictates you know, our growth curves, growth areas. We have a very strong growth rate. Um, and so that's, that as, as I said, we're getting larger customers, but we're also getting increased spend from every customer as we have more and more products and data that that covers the you know everything that they're needing. There's no need to go to many companies for the for multiple services. And we've got our growing revenue per client. So bigger firms, bigger products, broader products, um, more spend. <clears throat> And fixed cost structure is nearly 50% of our costs. So as you can see, the more revenue we bring in, the more it goes to the bottom line. And that sets us up very well for growth and profitability. Also, the industry, people ask me, how big is the industry? It's, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. It's absolutely massive. And we have a very small piece of it right now. So um, we just stay on track and we keep being uh, being good to the clients and having the clients proud of what we're doing with them. And uh, we're seeing tremendous success. So we're just going to keep chewing away at this industry and taking more and more market share. And increasing cash positions us for acquisition. So as we grow, you know, next year, it looks like we're going to be banking quite a bit of cash and particularly the next year after that. But um, we can look at some uh, acquisitions and we can look at uh, bringing in either other um, acquisitions for data, acquisitions for product, or just acquisitions for revenue. Because there are some firms out there that are that we cover everything that they cover and we can simply acquire them and then just take over the clients and just have 100% profit. So we're focused on growing our market share just going strong and and everything's looking really good. So I just want to thank you. And that's the end of my presentation. All right, Dave, thank you very much for that. Um, for your whole presentation there. My, my first question to you, you know, you mentioned that you, there might be some strategic M&A or some acquisitions. You kind of looked in, you you kind of alluded to some areas in particular. I mean, can you expand on that just, just a little bit more, you know, in terms of, you know, um, maybe the size of deals that you might be, I'm not, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to get you to try and name names or anything like that, but like, oh, size, 
the size of deals that you're looking to do with it within uh respect? Well, there's all there's yeah there's all different kinds right so um i mean some of the acquisition targets that i'm looking at are some of the smaller firms there are some smaller firms out there that are focused on maybe one little area of the industry um, but because we're so broad and we cover all of these areas of the industry uh, we can acquire somebody in that area and basically we really don't need anything that they have we have 100 percent of what they have so we can just transition all of those clients to our services it adds zero cost to us and all of that profit comes to us right now those smaller companies are struggling they're spending a lot the fees of market data are constantly growing working with the exchanges is very difficult there's a lot of work. And so company, there's a lot of duplicate spend, let's put it that way. And so by getting rid of that duplicate spend, um, you know, we're looking to acquire some of those smaller firms. So that's, that's one strategy. Um, and then the other strategy is there are some firms that I'm looking at that have some different technology or some different ways of doing things that I think would be a really nice synergy to Quote Media that we can merge into Quote Media. Maybe there's a certain area that they're really focused on that is you know, stronger than what we're doing, or we're not putting that much focus on that area. But this smaller firm of, of individuals has done a really good job of doing that. And I think that might be a nice fit for Quote Media and our clients, of course. Very good. I mean, look, I, Dave, I've known you a long time. We use Quote Media tools on our website for various, various things that we have out there. Uh, you know, what's been some of the more frequently asked questions that you get from investors? And maybe we can address them right here. Frequent questions. Well, I mean, everybody's always wondering where we're going and what we're doing and, uh, you know, where's our growth, et cetera. And, you know, it's, I've often said, well, you know, our focus will be global, but, you know, the more I say that, the more I go, you know, that's actually maybe our second focus. Our first focus is more what we're doing now, which is North America. North America is massive. And the spend in North America on market data and research and analytics and all of this stuff is, is billions and billions of dollars. And we're only at 20 million in revenue. So obviously we don't have a big piece of the market yet. We're doing very well. And you can see from the clients that we have and the growth that we have that, that, that we are doing the right things. We just need to get bigger locally, right? We need to go stronger in the US, stronger in Canada and cover more and more. And now, because of the more recent deals that we've done and the more recent announcements of closing some of the banks and, and bigger firms, it's it now we're busy. Now, more and more firms are coming to us. We're doing presentations almost every day now for bigger firms because they they now say that we're we're I guess we're signed off that they can do business with us now. It's, it's obviously if all their competitors are doing business with us, it's time that they can. And so um, it, it's very good that we can replace some of these multi-billion dollar uh, competitors of ours. Absolutely. You know, one thing that you brought up that I, I was curious about from your perspective, when it comes to the the rates from the exchanges, I mean, I, I I know I'm talking to you and John yeah. and, and the guys, you know, and figuring that out and hearing some of the numbers. Are you guys locked in at a certain rate, or do, it, does that also vary as over time? Uh, there is no such thing as locked in. the The exchanges are the exchanges. They have their, uh, you know, their their data. They have their their pricing. Uh, they're always trying to figure out how to make more money. Of course. Um, you know, a lot of that is is up to them and, and the client to take it. Now, there is lots of different uh, competition. There's more competition these days as far as uh, between the exchanges and the data. Um, so that often we will meet with a company and we will say, look, you know, there's all these different levels of data that you can acquire or purchase from us. And, you know, there's different pricing models. But there's also all the fees of, of providing data from the exchange. So that's called vendor of record, right? So for example, if a bank wants to provide all this data to their retail investors, uh, they have to pay all these vendor of record fees. These They have to become uh, a vendor of record for the exchange, which is very, very expensive. But Quote Media has built systems where we can be the vendor of record for a company. We can handle the tracking, 
the users, the reporting, and everything for the exchanges, and we can save them uh, a huge amount on their exchange fees because it's there's the exchange fees are two are two sided. There's the provisioning of the exchange data, and then there's the end user fees. End user fees you can't really change because that's up to who's getting the data. But the provisioning fees can all come through Colt Media, and that is more under one umbrella. So that's our vendor of record services, where um, it's a very popular way to save money from the exchanges. Very good. All right. So another question I have for you, and I've asked this to every company that's presenting here, um, you know, we're going through tough markets right now. You know, what measures is the company taking to manage some of these macroeconomic pressures that are currently affecting most microcaps across the board? Well, I guess uh, the first thing I hear is that are affecting everybody. It's not affecting us at all. Like we are absolutely ballooning. Uh, I said most. I said most. Yeah. I know it's uh, because because we're all about data, whether 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 the market's going bad or whether the market's going good or whatever, people need all this information. Right. So if anything, there's a benefit to us when the markets go badly, because the firms out there are looking at their spend. Right. So if they're going to. Uh, they're looking at who they dealt with for market data and information and terminals and all of this stuff. And they're like, we're spending a lot of money. Should we look to see if there's another company that can do the same thing, maybe for less? And we've saved companies up to say 50% uh, spend savings uh, by moving to quote media and having us take over everything. Um, so, I guess that's the nice thing about our company is we're we're we've always been growing. Um, it's just that maybe we're growing faster because of the economic conditions out there. I don't know, but we're we're we've never been busier, and uh, it's I'm looking really looking forward to a few days off at Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's no days off. Come on now. We've talked. Well, Dave, thank thank you so much for your presentation and for answering a few of my questions here. And yeah. for everybody watching, thank you for participating as well. And um, have a great rest of the event. Dave, thanks again, man. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye.